Production and trade are among the fundamental engines of economic growth in a globalized world economy. However, one critical aspect stands out, the connection between production and environmental pollution. This visual series is part of the SMEP program, established by the United Kingdom's Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office in partnership with UNCTAD. Through these episodes, we'll analyze the role of exports in industrial pollution caused by important manufacturing sectors in the Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia regions. Plastic pollution is also on our radar. Using evidence generated by the SMEP program, we'll indicate ways to solve this problem, which is critical for the local population and the entire planet. We'll address these issues by taking a closer look at the policies and technologies used to combat pollution in four sample countries in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Tanzania, and Kenya. Kenya is a country in East Africa with an idyllic coastline on the Indian Ocean, endowed with lush nature. The country exported $4.5 billion worth of manufactured goods in 2020, with the most common destinations being the United States of America, the European Union, and the East African community. The SMEP analysis shows the importance of the food and beverage sector to the country, which is highly diverse and one of the main drivers of economic growth, with a significant impact on formal job creation and a major source of revenue for the country. Let's take as an example the most exported product in this category to tell this story, palm oil. The production of palm oil, aimed at foreign markets, leads to environmental pressures at the source that affect environmental and human health. The most important issues are energy consumption, water use, solid waste, and the generation of effluents that can cause environmental toxicity. Um, most of the palm oil in Kenya is imported from Indonesia, where they have converted large, large areas of land into the growth of the palm oil. Palm oil is harvested manually in what they call fresh fruit bunches, FFDs. These are then transported by truck generally to the nearest uh, palm oil mill, which washes, washes the fresh fruit bunches and then mechanically crushes them and basically extracts the crude palm oil from the fruit itself. Thereafter, the crude palm oil is stored in uh, big tanks and then um, shipped to uh, all parts of the world where it's further processed phys physically into refined palm oil and then thereafter fractionated into olein and stearine and um, that lands up on your table in the form of various, various products and also cosmetics, chocolates, all types of food Etc. Cetera, et cetera. I think in terms of the impact of palm oil production has been one on um, you know deforestation. So where land is cleared uh, for palm oil uh, trees, and then also uh, once that has been the fruit has been harvested, I think even in the production process is there's a lot of water used and which is more or less released to uh, the environment or to water bodies. So. In terms of the chemicals may be used when it comes to the extraction, there's a lot of energy involved. So uh, with that, there is soil pollution, uh, there's land pollution, uh, but also air pollution. So there are a couple of things that the Kenyan industries need to, uh, to improve on waste management, particularly is capacity building. Uh, we need to capacitate our industries with the required skills to deal with the wastes. Uh, number two, you need technology. Uh, outside the world, there are technologies uh, that are most efficient that our uh, local industries can use to manage uh, waste. Above all, we need uh, partnership with uh, like-minded uh, organizations across the world because the waste that we're dealing with, they have also dealt with. And so it provides for us a learning opportunity uh, on how to deal with the waste locally. It's clear that the commitment of the private sector alone is not enough to solve the sector's problems. They're also dependent on government actions for necessary changes. On a global level, the UN Environment Assembly 
adopted 14 resolutions in 2022, promoting governmental actions to stimulate circular economy practices and sound pollution management as essential measures for development. The government of Kenya has uh, taken uh, proactive approaches as you know, NEMA does not uh, directly regulate uh, imports of palm oils, but we are a net importer of this because we consume the same uh, in our homes. Uh, but uh, Kenya having embraced the concept of circularity, uh, we look at uh, we are keeping products in uh, circulation for as long as possible. And therefore we are working with the manufacturers here in Nairobi who can re reprocess uh, this, these particular products for reuse but again, they must meet the, the required standards and those standards and, uh, and uh, guidelines are then issued by us. SMEP supports Kenya and other beneficiary countries of the program in the identification and uptake of pollution mitigation solutions, such as technologies, policies, or platform solutions to promote manufacturing growth and sustainable trade in harmony with the environment and human health. We have a number of uh, policies that the government has instituted to minimize pollution. Additionally, we have uh, compliance assistance programs where we work with the uh, various industries to guide them on how they can um, uh, comply without using a carrot and stick approach, but rather to guide them and also to point them to solutions and kinds of places where they can find the requisite assistance and technologies so that they are uh, operating in a sustainable manner. So for SMEP, uh, they do provide funding uh, to, you know, to support uh, into various activities. So for instance, there's research, um, you know, identifying which are these pollution mitigation technologies that can be used uh, uh, and implemented uh, in, in Kenya. And then also in terms of, uh, the second is also the development of various tools. Uh, so for instance, the policy regulatory models, um, how do we improve the enabling environment so that to increase the adoption and scalability of, um, you know, these pollution mitigation technologies and also working with government because as we address or SMEP addresses the various pollution mitigation or pollution rather in Kenya, the more there is uh, one health benefits in the social impact created, um, you know, at the same time. So promoting the well-being of the citizens. This is how SMEP works, identifying challenges by listening to local voices and funding the development and implementation of solutions to the industrial pollution in targeted regions. Our aim is to improve the environmental governance of production and exports, paving the way for competitive and environmentally sustainable products that are compatible with SDG 12 and value the health of workers and populations involved in the production of goods we all consume. Want to know more? Visit our dashboard for a complete overview and data access resulting from the work of the SMEP program. <music>